Hello everyone! So today I want to tell you a story from the Bible that's all about Jesus and how he wants to use ordinary people like you and me. So I hope you're all sitting comfortably. It was a very hot day. Everyone was tired and sweaty and hungry. There was a massive crowd who had all come to listen to Jesus. And they'd been listening all day. But it was getting late. The sun was beginning to set and Jesus' friends began to worry. They were all starving and they knew that the people in the crowds must be too. So Philip, one of Jesus' friends, came up to him and said, Psst! Jesus! It's sunset. Don't you think you should finish so that the people can go home and get some food? As he spoke, his tummy gave a low rumble like a volcano. Jesus smiled. Philip, he said, we're miles from anywhere. You need to feed the people. Well, Philip thought that Jesus was being a bit unreasonable, but he tried to come up with a solution. Maybe we could go and find some food in the nearby farms. Or there might be a McDonald's nearby. McDonald's, said Jesus. You're yeah, right, good idea. Go get some. Philip gulped. He looked around and for the first time he realised quite how huge the crowd was. Oh no, I'd need to win the lottery just to buy everyone here a McMuffin. There must be over 5,000 people. Suddenly, Philip felt someone tugging at his sleeve. He looked around and looked down, and saw a small boy. Oh, not now, boy, said Philip. We're having a crisis. He turned back to Jesus. Oh, sorry, said the boy. I just, I thought you might be hungry. Well, what have you got, said Philip. The boy held out his basket of food. Well, I've got two big fish. Medium fish. Well, sort of sort of smallish fish, and five bread rolls. I can't eat them all by myself, and Mum said to share. Philip took the little boy by the grubby hand and led him to Jesus. Jesus, this boy. Jesus, Philip said, this boy wants to share. Oh, good, said Jesus. Let's get everyone sat down to eat them. Oh, but Jesus, said Philip, I don't think there'll be enough. But Jesus waved him away. While Jesus' friends got everyone to sit down, Jesus took out the food and held it up and said, Father God, I thank you for this food and for everything that you give us. Amen. Jesus broke the bread and handed it to his friends. He told them to start giving out all the food to the people. Philip was a bit doubtful. There wouldn't even be enough food for everyone to just have one mouthful of bread or fish. But he did as he was told, as did all of other, Jesus' other friends, and they started giving out the food. To Philip's surprise, the bit of bread that he was giving out seemed to be feeding a lot more people than he was expecting. And, and when he'd run out, he returned to Jesus, who handed him another bit of bread. Gradually, Every person was receiving food. How could this be happening? When everyone had eaten, Jesus handed Philip and the other disciples baskets and told them to collect the leftovers. Leftovers? Philip didn't understand how there could be leftovers, but he did as he was told. And to his surprise, they collected 12 overflowing baskets of leftover bread and fish. Wow, said the little boy. You took my ordinary bread and fish and turned it into something amazing. Did you know that God, the king of the universe, likes to use ordinary people like that little boy to do great things? And the thing is, just like Jesus was able to use that little boy's bread and fish and turn it into something amazing, God can use anything that you give him and do the same. He can use all our skills and gifts, whether that's being good at football or painting or cooking or dancing. 
and he can use them to do something amazing. If we offer the things we can do to Jesus, he will do great stuff with them.